Hey Jenny. Hi Ross. How are you doing? Pretty good. How was orientation? It was really nice. I got to sign up for my classes. I'm going to take mechanics and calculus too and an astronomy seminar. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to learn how to be a real astronomer here in Tucson, the center of astronomy. I'll get to wear a cool lab coat and peer through a telescope. I'm so excited. Well, that's not exactly what astronomers do, but there's a couple projects going on. You want to go check them out? Sure. Hey, Garmin, what's up? Oh, hey, Ross. Uh, nothing much. I'm still trying to decipher this exoplanet data. IRAF is being kind of difficult right now, but I should have a nice light curve soon. I'm sorry, but what does that even mean? Oh, I'm sorry, Jenny. This is Carmen. Jenny's going to be studying astronomy come this fall. And since she's interested, I was hoping you'd be able to show us what astronomers do. Oh, yeah. No, I'd love to. So what I'm doing right now, this work on the computer, this is mostly what astronomers do. I did get this data from a night of observing at the telescope, but I don't get instant results at the telescope. I have to take the data home and turn it into something meaningful. It's kind of like solving a puzzle. And right now I'm using some software called IRAF to analyze my data, uh, but there are other ways to do it too. The astronomers have to be pretty good with computer science, because you're running software like IRAF, or you have to create your own software to put your data through. It takes up the majority of time just to process all of the data that you receive in a night of observing. Well, that sounds pretty interesting. Can you tell me more about the observing runs? We'd, We'd love, love to. to. Follow us. Here we are, the Kuiper 61-inch telescope on Mount Bigelow. Let's go inside. <laughs> this is the control room. This is where astronomers spend a lot of their time during observation runs. But where's the telescope? Oh, that's upstairs. Want to go see it? Sure. Okay. Come on. Here it is. Whoa! Wow, that was so cool. Why do we have to stay down here? Well, so long ago, all astronomers had to make their observations was their eyes. But nowadays, we have all kinds of fancy instruments that record data for us electronically. So those are upstairs, hooked up to the telescope, and we stay down here and control everything and just wait for the data to come in. And each astronomer does something different, depending on what they're studying. So, once they have their instruments set up and started, they just let time fly by. Well, what do you do while you're waiting? Oh. Well... Well, that doesn't sound bad at all. It's not, but this is a tiny fraction of the time astronomers have devoted to their work. Most of their work isn't done at the telescope. Huh. Okay, so is that all that astronomers do? Just piece together data and observe a bit? Well, there is a bit more to it. So being a scientist is about deciphering new information and sharing it with others. So once you're done with all that data analysis, you need to write up your results and publish them in scientific journals. And then you'll go to conferences and meetings where you'll present your results and other astronomers will present their results and you can listen to other astronomers' presentations. Astronomers need to keep up with the research of other astronomers as well. And outreach is a really important part of an astronomer's job. Whenever possible, we like to teach the public especially young students, about astronomy and other related sciences. And that writing never really ends, because once you're done with one paper, it's on to the next project. And if you need any funding to do your work, you have to write applications for grants. Every time you go to the telescope, you have to write a new proposal. And some telescopes are in very high demand. You have to have a good proposal to be awarded your time. Mm, there's a lot that goes into being an astronomer. Is there anything else I need to know? You just signed up for classes, right? Yeah. Did you sign up for any math and physics classes? Yeah, I did. Uh, that's what my advisor told me to do. But do I really need all that? I just want to do astronomy. 
Well, you do because math and physics are a very important part of astronomy. You need to be proficient in both math and physics to do well. And as you saw earlier, computer programming is really important as well. And you have to have a really strong foundation in reading and writing because astronomers read and write all the time. And the better you are at it, the better you can take in information and make it understood. And a foreign language is helpful too because you might want to collaborate with astronomers in another country. Or you might want to use a telescope that's in another country. Wow, there's a lot of work that goes into being an astronomer. It's a tough profession, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication, but it's totally worth it. Mm -hmm.